Hello YouTube, this is Richard, founder of ShortTermRentalSecrets.com and Airbnb Superhost. Today we're doing something kind of cool and new and I'm really excited about it. Um, turns out one of our subscribers on our YouTube channel has been following a lot of our videos and reached out to us to get personal feedback and attention and a critique of her own listing. You're going to get purely um, unscripted, unrehearsed, first look impressions good, bad, and indifferent. So she's been listing on Airbnb for about 45 days. Her first month, she did about $800 in revenue. The second month, she did about $1,800. And in the month of May, um, she's already increased over the $1,800 and still has nine vacant days. First, I want to congratulate her because she's doing remarkably well and on her way to uh, multiple listings and really growing a, an empire of short-term rentals, which is super cool. Her comment really is resulting in this video and we're answering her request directly for everyone. So um, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and post this in here and uh, let's see what we think. Okay. So um, the very first thing, whoops, sorry about that. The very first thing I see here is a huge photo of a bedroom. Um, really nicely decorated and colorful, uh, very reasonable price. I don't know the area, looks like it's in Canada. Okay, so I assume that that's a um, low price point. I see 15 five-star reviews, which is amazing. And I also see that they have um, the ability to do instant booking, which is also great. So um, I'm gonna just scroll down and learn a little bit about this listing. And I think um, they've done a really nice job of putting together some keywords that I think will attract certain people, like eco-friendly. Um, they're being direct and transparent. Lower level suite is located, and then talks about the area, this historic neighborhood. It's a short stroll away. Um, it's impeccably decorated, um, fresh, romantic and airy, bustling with eco features such as LED lighting, tankless water heater, and uh, cycled furniture. So it's clear to me that they care about sort of the environment and they're looking for like-minded people and I think that that's what you want to do is get the same sort of um, guests in there because they're going to be most uh, compatible and happy. Now, um, I see a couple of things here which I think there's room for improvement. I think the cleaning fee is way too low at $26. I mean, cleaning this place is going to take hours to do it properly, so it seems to me like um, that's being subsidized. It's very clear that there's one queen bed, which is nice, and they've got their house rules. No smoking, no pets, no parties, and also the check-in time. Um, I love this golden rule. We respect you, so we please ask that you treat the home away from your home with care. We're not a hotel, so please leave it the same way. I think that that's good and a strict cancellation policy. One night minimum is encouraged if you're really trying to maximize your um, number of rentals, so that's good. And then you can see here um, all these five-star reviews, which is amazing. And you can also see that they've got um, responses, which I've suggested are really helpful. It's my experience with, it's my best experience with Airbnb. The hosts were great. It's how an Airbnb be place must be. I would definitely recommend it. And then the response from the host, oh my goodness, we're over the moon. You had a wonderful stay. I mean, this is just so warm and welcoming. You read that and you want to stay with them. The next one, the place is just perfect and completely exceeded our expectations. That's exactly what you want to do. Exceed expectations. It's very clean. These reviews from their guests are much more important than anything that the hosts write. So like view this as marketing, right? Um, you want that and then the response like I've suggested and they're actually doing from every single one um, Wow, thank you for the glowing review. That's amazing. Here's one. This is interesting. Uh, they have a wonderful little suite It's perfect for two. It has ease of access easy to get to close to the clubs and they really do a great job Only minor drawback is that the Wi-Fi is subpar for watching TV or using Netflix, but it's fine for your phone and then I think they did a nice job um, I think we could improve this um, they wrote, we called the internet company, it happened to be spotty during your stay, sorry about that, however they will let us know that they will be fixing it. Um, I think a little bit more empathy might go a long way in this regard, such as, um, you know, we contacted the internet company, 
They did inform us that there was some work being done during that period of stay. I wish we had known in advance. We would have loved to communicate that to you earlier, but we were unaware. So sorry that it disrupted your uh, enjoyment of our place. I know how important Netflix is after a long day or something where you put yourself in their shoes and you know, really explain it to them. And you did a nice job with the apology, so I don't want to be too critical, but I think that you have the opportunity to empathize with people. And again, if you view that as marketing, that's a really important place where you can show people that you really do care. Um, one last thing before we turn to the photos. I'm not a huge believer in the weekly discount or the monthly discount. I think it's a personal preference. I've never used it, and I have no um, intention of using it. I rent all of my properties fairly, and um, I want to maximize my income, and uh, it's never been a deterrent. So I use um, dynamic pricing, as you know, beyond pricing in particular, and I've never had a need to, to uh, reduce it. When you reduce or you discount like that, you're basically taking money out of your own pocket, and that's fine if you need to do that for the um, number of nights that you want to book per month, but if you don't, then I personally don't recommend it. So let's take a look at the photos. Okay, so this is the first um, photo. I think it's really nice. It's well lit. They've got the side lights on. Um, the bed is made. The pillows look great. There's art on the walls and it looks fine. I'm not sure it would be my thumbnail, but let's see what else they've got. The same photo. Okay, and here's um, probably like the studio, kitchen, uh, living room area. Obviously looks um, small, small size fridge, uh, microwave over it, but for what they're charging and where they're located, it's obviously doing really well and people seem to love it. Um, there's an interesting mural. Okay, it's highlighting here the um, small kitchenette. And one thing I really do love is this enjoy complimentary snacks. I'm not sure what the basket is on top, but it looks like maybe some notes or some instructions. So let's just keep going. Uh, nice little breakfast nook. And then here's some travel materials on the side of the table. It shows that there's USB charging, which is amazing. I think that that's really great so people can see what they can charge. Um, and then I see here uh, the television. One thing I think would be um, helpful, at least in the photos, and I don't have a great solution, is to hide or minimize the cords. It looks a little bit distracting. I would much rather focus on the what appears to me to be like Indian artwork uh, on the walls, um, but instead my eyes are drawn just to the black cord. So uh, there are like white PVC tubes available at Home Depot and stuff where you can put all these black cords into one bigger white cord. It's like cut in the middle and you just put it in there. That might actually look better. Whether you actually do it for your guests or not doesn't really matter, but at least for the photo, you want your eyes drawn to the right thing. Um, here's the artwork. Um, and They've also done one of the things that I think is really important, photo 10 of 48, tapestry made by our talented friend Christine, and the half mandala mural by Juliana. Um, I might add a little bit to that and explain, you know, what influence it is or what the artwork is or just something more than it's made by a friend. Um, just, again, to draw the person into really grasping what we're looking at. Now this, for instance, Picture 11, modern kitchen with everything you need for your home away from home, to me is much more impressive and nicer than the photo before, which was just the small fridge and the microwave on top. It made the whole place seem really much smaller than it actually turns out to be. So I would probably reverse the order. Um, this is much more uh, impressive and comfortable and spacious than the small fridge. I thought it was a little studio apartment and that was all I had. It turns out I have a lot more. A pantry looks pretty well stocked. Um, nice area that seems to go up some stairs. A nice welcome board. This is amazing. Things to do. I love this. Handwritten Wi-Fi password. This is just, you know, fantastic. It looks like a, it's on a door and welcome and please enjoy your stay. Bravo. Well done. Everybody should do this. Uh, I just love that. This bathroom is gorgeous. Um, again, as I look at all of this stuff, I'm still looking for your thumbnail photo because I'm not sure that just the bed is the right one. I, I think maybe the kitchen is better than that. Um, this photo looks really nice. If I want it to be really nitpicky, I don't love the way that the trash can looks with the um, garbage bag, and then I don't love seeing the plunger and stuff, but you know, 
I guess it's nice to know that it's there, but I'm being, you know, very, very particular. Let's keep going. Okay, this is really nice. It shows that you've got all sorts of um, interesting collectible shells and hair dryers and so on and that you care. That's what this means to me. They're here to help you become spiffy. Um, one little thing there is misspelled. Um, sorry to be so nitpicky, but if I'm asked to review this stuff, these are the things that I look for and that other people actually uh, notice as well. This looks very nice and clean. Um, again, I see that there's a place for hanging coats. I'm not sure I would highlight that, but I like the ironing board and all of that. I love this part. You know, I would be pushing this guest book, apartment info and city info forward instead of being at a 21. Uh, I would push it far forward. Um, this is the vestibule area. This is the private entrance. I like the Airbnb sticker. Um, here's a organic garden. I mean, it looks nice and green and lush. A dog. Um, I'm not sure I would be posting the dog, especially if the dog doesn't live in the unit. The reason to post the dog in the unit would be that people that are allergic are not going to stay in your unit. So if that's your purpose, then that's great because you don't want somebody to come and have a terrible weekend because they're allergic to dogs and they didn't know a dog lived there. If this is your family pet and the family pet lives somewhere else, no need to advertise that here because you're going to lose business as a result of this. Same with the cat. Um, again, I'm not sure where they live. Maybe it's written in your description, but I don't have time to review that right now. This is a first impression, just like if I was searching. And my first impression as I'm searching is I'm not going to read every single detail. I don't have the time or the energy. I'm going to look at the photos. And by page 26, I'm sorry, photo 26 or 27, if I'm either allergic to dogs or cats, I'm not staying at your place. So if that's intentional, well done. If it's a mistake, I would remove them. Um, a lovely church across the street, a uh, mural outside of our place. We live in a historic home. I would probably put this photo well in advance of the mural and the church. Um, you know, the mural isn't all that important and the church isn't all that relevant, but showing me what the neighborhood looks like as I walk and I stroll and I see the blossoming trees, like this is sort of why I'm selecting your neighborhood much more so than the mural and the church. Um, there's a nice park, okay. Again, the coffee shop, I would move forward because I can certainly envision having uh, a steamed chai latte every single day, and that's painting the dream. Um, local coffee shop, the shopping district. Again, I think you have some really great photos, and I think you're telling a story. I think the order is maybe inappropriate or could be improved is probably the nicer way of saying it. Um, and so I would definitely change it around. Now, this is a mixed blessing. Um, the super crawl, highly recommended coming for this event, really draws the crowd. You know, the good news is if you're coming to this crowd, um, your place is a great place to stay. I could almost guarantee you that 99 out of 100 years, your place is going to be sold out anyway for this crowd. So I'm not sure you want to advertise for this crowd because when I look at this, if I was coming for, say, a, a getaway, a work trip with my kids, I would probably want to avoid this neighborhood. So while it might be you know, unique to your place, realize that you're likely to rent out and be sold out 100% of the time anyway with this many people. So I'm not sure you need to advertise for them. You might be doing yourself more harm than benefit. Another coffee shop. Um, what is this? A center, a great concert venue. Uh, the outdoors, again, I would probably push that forward. That's beautiful. That's unique to the area. That's something that somebody could come and do and have memories forever. Uh, this is much more interesting to me than the concert hall. If I'm coming to the concert, I'm going to stay at your house anyway. But if I'm coming to your place and I want to do something, I have a half afternoon off or whatever, those walks are really cool. Um, so it seems to me that you've got some really great stuff. The photos are really nice and well lit. I think the order is, um, there's a lot of room for improvement. This sitting area, as I look at it again, I think the shape of the room is a little bit um, unique or strange. And I'm not sure what the right way to photograph it is. Um, but I would play with that. I would try a few different things and maybe, maybe take the photo from like the, the height 
as if you were seated at the sofa or at the desk, as opposed to being up, and it seems like it's a triangle shape. Something about it just makes it seem a little bit strange, and it's probably not that strange in real person. And then again, this bar fridge and microwave, I would definitely put well after the rest of the kitchen, which is just so gorgeous. So let's see if I can get to um, back here and see if there's anything. You are a pet owner, dogs and cats. Again, it's not clear to me right now whether you actually live there with the dog and cat or you just, um, like, where do you guys go? Like, if you do, in fact, live here, we live upstairs with our friendly, okay, here we go. So I might put this forward. You know, again, we want to be really transparent. We live upstairs with our friendly orange kitty named Kiwi and our tiny lovable dog named Lulu drop by and say hello. I would remove the photos of those animals because it's going to confuse people. And I would also indicate earlier up, again, some of the things that, that I think are really cool if you're trying to attract your tribe. We're modern day hippies. We have eco-friendly mandate. We've installed tankless water heaters. We live upstairs. It's all about service. These are great things. And I think more important perhaps than we want to showcase local talent and so on, right? Um, forget about laundry, you're on vacation, we offer door-to-door, -door. that's great, that's nice. Um, we're human-friendly and all sorts of people are welcome, that's fantastic. Uh, I think it's evident that you've taken a lot of time to really detail all of the things uh, in and around the home. Um, here you indicate again, we have a cat and a dog, those who have allergies may need to take some allergy medication. Let us know if you forget some, we carry some upstairs. Um, look, I, th I think it's evident why you've done so well. I think you have room to increase your price. I think you have room to increase your cleaning fees. I think you should rethink about the order. You're telling a story here, and I think that the order is a little bit um, backward in a lot of the photos and also in some of the, the commentary. And just pretend like you're starting with an introduction. Here's who we are, here's where we are, here's our photos, and then progress them into like the meat of the book and then give them a nice conclusion. And uh, I understand why you're successful. I think it's fantastic that you're on to your second listing and well on to your, your third. Um, you've indicated that you have other properties, which I think is super cool, and you're going to be converting more of them over time as you have success with this. And I encourage all of my clients to do just that. Start slowly and then slowly as it proves that you enjoy it and that you're doing it well and that you're making three times the rental income go ahead and take additional properties and go that route. Um, so I hope you found this interesting. One thing I do want to preview for you is we're going to do something really cool, uh, something big, probably in the next week or so. And uh, I'm going to kind of keep it a secret, but think of it as a behind the scenes, best practice, guide, how to, uh, really excited for it. So I'm going to just pitch that and leave it at that. And uh, hope you found this interesting. Thanks so much for your comment and feedback. We encourage other people to leave comments and feedback because you never know, you, you might get picked and we might be helpful for you in your uh, business growth. Go ahead and like the video. Please subscribe to the channel. We can't wait to uh, film more content. We've got plenty more ideas. As it turns out, we have more ideas than we have time. And in the meantime, we're coming out Monday, Wednesday, Friday, three videos a week. So go ahead and subscribe. And until then, I'm going to sign off and we'll catch you soon. Thanks so very much for your time and interest and happy hosting. Have a great day.